2012, I started to already uh, go into sales. My first venture was selling toilet paper. My mom sold wholesale and I sold retail. Uh, and uh, the reason why I can still, it's very memorable because during our time, as you said, you were from San Andres, Bukid. I was from Tondo also in Jose Pat Santos. During the time, our place was clean during the 1970s. It was so clean, you cannot spit because the moment you spit, it gets blooded. <laughs> <laughs> and we're in the toilet paper business, so it cannot get wet. So every time when uh, the flood water comes in, UFO will also come in with the flood water. You know UFO? Unidentified floating object, but I can identify it. <laughs> so what I need to do is I have to carry boxes of toilet paper. One box of toilet paper contains 96 rolls, carrying probably one dozen or two dozen. For a 12-year-old, you can, you can carry it, but it's so hard and difficult to carry if you're carrying 96 in one box. That's the reason why I believe I never grew because of carrying on every toilet paper. So from toilet papers, I sold pants, I sold shoes, I sold shirt, to cut the long story short. Here's what I realized. When I was spending toilet paper to my classmates and friends, then suddenly friends and relatives started to make fun of me. They called me toilet paper boy. The people you expect to, to support you are the people who are not supporting you. Yeah. Yeah. The people you least expect to support you are the ones who are supporting you. So, it's a fact of life. Haven't you noticed, if you have a vision and a dream in life, there are a lot of what we call as dream sleepers. Yeah. Yeah. You follow? Yes or no? Yes. yes. That's the reason why I always encourage people, never allow negative people to influence you, and never allow miserable people to influence you. Because miserable people love to make other people feel miserable. miserable. <laughs> people who cannot achieve something in life will also tell you why you cannot make it. So to cut a long story short, before I reached the age of 24 because of peddling, selling, I, I hit my first million at the age of 24. Oh, wow. And I'm telling you this story not to brag, but to share to you my personal experience. Your stool is in front of you. has nothing actually to brag about. Why? I never finished my formal, formal school. Uh, never proud of it. But I can be proud when I was at grade 6. I became the top of my class. I became the first and last. Summa cum laude at my campus when I was at grade 6. How come you don't believe? <laughs> There's no summa cum laude in grade 6. Well, you don't have a good school. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know why I was given the title of summa cum laude? That's the highest in, my, in, in our level. Why? Because I was the first and the only student who repeated grade 6 four times. I mastered it. <laughs> no, seriously, I failed grade 6 four times. Do you know how embarrassing it was for you to repeat grade six four times, especially when you have a batch reunion right now? They come to you, Jinky, what's your batch? Well, it all depends. You can choose. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what I've discovered uh, to close this short talk. This is what I've discovered in life. How many you have failed in life? Have you ever failed in life? Yes. Failed in business, failed your parents, failed your loved ones. Mm -hmm. Failed in a relationship. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Big time. <laughs> but this is what I realized. In life, it doesn't really matter how many times you fail. Yeah. What really matters is how many times you pick yourself up. Yes. I failed four times, but I picked myself five times. I'm still considered a winner. You fail once. You lie down forever. You'll be a forever loser. Yes. Never allow your past, your past hurts, past mistake, your past environment to dictate what you want. What's really more important is it's not where you came from. It's where you are what? Eddie. And one thing I've learned from the past is this. You cannot change the past, but you can sure change your future by making the right decision today. Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you. Where's your, where's your, where's your photographer?